What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model an aircraft hangar in Revit. Now this will be a simple steel construction and we're going to be going over some of the basic methods used to create a structure like this. Now this can be a warehouse or in this case it's an airplane hangar. But before we get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day day and follow me on social media as well. Now uh, I'm just going to be moving Revit out of the way now and as you can see here I've got two families that I'm going to be using for this. We have uh, this metal uh, like truss that I'm going to be using as well as an airplane of course if we're making an airplane hangar we need to have an airplane family. Now I'm going to place links to these uh, in the description or you can go to my Patreon where you can get both these families and the whole project file as well as all of my project files so far. So that's first link in the description. But anyway, let's get started with the project. So I'm going to be using the architectural template for this project. And let's just let Revit start up. Okay, and now first let's load those families in. So I'm just going to go here to insert, load family, and let's find desktop, and let's go with a single prop plane, open that up, and let's just place it somewhere in this, on screen. So let's just go with component because airplane is a component and you just flip it around using the space key and let's just place it like this in the center. Now this airplane is going to help us determine the dimensions of our airplane hangar. Now let's load in that truss family. So I'm just going to go here to insert, load family and go with this uh, bent knee truss and open it up and now it's loaded in and if I go here now to structure and we've got this truss, uh, structural truss uh, tool and if I select it as you can see we don't have any trusses but we loaded it in so what's going on? Well uh, this particular family for some reason gets loaded in as a structural beam so you just select that and here it is so that's the one we loaded in and let's just place it somewhere like this so the plane is in the middle and now let's uh, create a whole structure. So if I go into 3D, this is what we have so far. So let's go back into level one, select this truss, and now to multiply it, the easiest way to do it is to use array. AR is the shortcut, so that's what I'm going to be using. And you just make sure that it's a, a linear array. Uh, you can group and associate but you don't really have to because it's just one element and then for the number let's go with four and uh, move to let's select last and we don't have to constrain it so just go here from the middle and just extend it kind of like that and maybe we can move the plane kind of in the center okay so we've got our four trusses that's our main construction and again let's check in 3d how that looks like you always want to be double checking everything and that looks fine now we need to add some ribs usually uh, these are constructed you have these uh, big trusses and you've got some ribs going on and then over that you've got some sort of a cover maybe it's aluminum or some sheet metal or whatever they choose to use for a hanger and before we go with the ribs let's give it a, a little kind of a foundation, a, a little floor. So let's go to level one, uh, go to architecture, find floors, and let's change here in the properties panel from generic uh, 150 millimeter to generic 300 millimeters. So I'm just going to open that up, go with a rectangular uh, option, and just go from here and give it an offset of like one meter or a thousand millimeters. And uh, yeah, go like this. Okay, so we've got our little foundation or floor going to 3D. Yeah, that looks that looks right. And now let's create uh, the ribs. Now for the ribs, they're going to go be here on the structure tab and you've got this beam system. But before you create the beam system, you need to load some beams in. Now we've already got this universal beam uh, over here, but that's too large for what we're creating over here. So let's just go to load family and let me just find the library, no not imperial, I'm going to be using the metric one and let's go with structural uh, framing, uh, steel, let's see, steel, steel, universal beam, yeah let's use this one, open it up and now search for the smallest one or maybe, yeah let's go with this one. Yeah, you don't have to have too large of a beam because this is a small hangar. But anyway, let's now create that beam system. Now for that, you need to go here to 
uh, structure, beam system, and now first you need to set the plane. So the, the structural pl plane for perhaps this wall over here, we need to select it. So you just go here to set work plane and you go pick a plane, you, k you hit OK, you zoom in and you select this uh, face over here, the face of that wall. And then you just select the rectangle and you start off from this corner and you go all the way to the other side and you finish it off off over here. Now for the beam direction, uh, the beam direction is usually uh, this, uh, as you can see here we've got these two lines on the side that don't appear anywhere else. This determines the beam direction and now beams would be going like this vertically and that's not what we want to have. We want to have them going horizontally. So you just select this beam direction tool and you can either draw it or you can use pick lines which is a bit easier. So I'm just going to select this line and hit finish and as you can see now we've got a bunch of beams. Now we need to select their uh, type, so let's go, okay, this the, the size is alright, but for the spacing, let's go with something like 800 millimeters or 80 centimeters, yeah, like this. Okay, now let's do the roof part, so again, go beam system, and you go set work plane, and you go pick a plane, you hit OK, and again, you need to find this uh, face that's uh, on the top where you want to have your roof and then you go with this rectangle tool and again you start off from this point over here and you stretch it all the way to the other side to where it is where is it okay it's kind of difficult to, to select okay here it is is it yeah okay so once we have that again let's set the beam direction to be going lengthwise and just hit uh, oh, and here change this to 800, make sure that it's the right beam, the smaller one, and hit finish. And there you go. Okay, and now as you can see here, beams are on the outside as they should be, but uh, on this one over here, beams are on the inside. So because we can't really flip that around, what we need to go do is go to south elevation and maybe go with a, a, a wireframe view. Okay, why can't we see our beams? Oh, of course, we need to set this detail level to fine, and here are the beams now. So you just need to select this whole uh, beam system, uh, remove this beam from selection, and then you just go to Move Tool or type in MV, and you go from here, and you just extend it upward. Okay, now it's on the upper side. Okay, so once you have that, you can select uh, both of these beam systems, so you just go Filter, uh, yeah, that's okay. We only have beam system and beam framing. So now go into the site plan and just type in DM for draw mirror and you start off here from the center and you just move like this uh, vertically and you get them on the other side. And if you want to see them better, just go to fine. Yeah, this looks all right. Now go into 3D. Yeah, as you can see now we've got most of our hangar done. Now we need to do the back side and the front side and then we need to cover it all with some sheet metal. So again, let's go here with another beam system. Uh, you go set work plane, pick a plane, go OK. Let's pick this plane over here and then just use pick lines. And you pick the outside edges as well as this uh, ground edge or the floor edge. OK, this looks fine. Select that one, and now you just use trim and extend, so TR is the shortcut, and you connect all of these, and you just, uh, and for the beam direction, oh, of course, almost forgot, make sure to select the bottom horizontal one, and hit finish, and there you go, it already remembered all of the setups. Okay, so this looks fine, now we can just select this thing, this whole beam system, and go into level one, and we can just, uh, copy it to the, to the other side, so just go DM for draw mirror, go from the center, like that, okay, that looks fine, go into 3D, okay, this looks good. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, there should be a door over here, and yes, there should be, but first, we need to create uh, the actual wall to model the wall, and then we're going to be placing a door on that wall, and once the door is placed, then we can trim this beam system to accommodate uh, for the hole for the door. Okay, so let's do that. So let's just uh, first do, of course, the uh, the whole wall. And because uh, it's it kind of it's going to be the same material for the wall and for the roof, uh, what I like to do is I like to create a uh, 
an in place mass that covers the whole thing and then I'm just going to be uh, placing a kind of a wall on that mass. So just go here to massing in sight, go show mass, in place mass, let's just call it mass 1, doesn't really matter. Now go into level 1 and here uh, go to fine just to see the beams better and then go uh, reference plane. So RP is the shortcut. But anyway, so just place a reference plane on the top of this uh, beam on the front and let's just call it reference plane A. We just need to remember the name. So now go back into south elevation and let's start modeling. So go to model line for the plane. We select our reference plane A. Make sure that it's here checked by name and just go OK. And now you just start creating lines. So one line should be going over here then you need another line going over here the same thing on the other side and then of course we're going to tri be trimming and extending this to create the final shape so one line over here and one line here on the ground plane and now as I said TR for trim and extend and you just connect all of these lines that you have created okay so once we have that let's go into 3D here okay it's not connected here why not okay for some reason this line is on the top okay let's just fix that uh, let's make sure that it's on reference plane A okay now it works and now you select the whole thing and you go create form and then what you're going to be doing is just extend this form all the way to the outside of this beam so let's see maybe go to west elevation and here go to wireframe okay now you can see it better and yeah just extend it like that okay this works now and go back into 3D so we've got our in place mass so just hit finish mass and now let's create a wall for this so it will be just a tin aluminum wall so just go to wall edit type and duplicate name let's just call it wall just to save time and here from 200 millimeter I'm going to drop it down to 20 millimeter and for the material uh, let's just search for aluminum or aluminium anyway <laughs> let's just hit OK okay again and go here to massing in sight uh, go to wall or a mass wall and then you just need to select these surfaces now you go all the way around and do that you hit finish you uncheck show mass so you can only see the building and let's now go to level one select the walls and let's just flip them to the other side because they're now on the wrong side so let's just flip this one okay flip this one this one as well okay this looks fine now and now let's place a door over here so just go to architecture door and uh, let's see we don't have any hangar doors of course so let's just go to load family and drop back a few folders find the doors and let's see we've got some uh, overhead rolling door yeah let's do this one hit open and you just place it like this over here kind of like that and then you can just select it and extend it so maybe do it like this 440 on that side let's do the same number here okay that looks fine and for the height I remember my plane is like 3 meters so let's do something like 3.4 meters or maybe there should be another zero here no let's see if we go into 3d yeah that's that looks right okay but now as you can see these beams are in the middle so let's select this beam system go edit boundary and then let's just add some lines over here and let's use split line so sl is the shortcut and then just trim and extend trim and extend and hit finish okay okay so this let's delete this one and just do one line normal line okay 
and there you go so this is our hangar and if we go maybe like this in realistic mode yeah and just to see inside let's go and add a bit of a transparency so this is what you get okay that's pretty much it for this tutorial and if you want to see how to create this cool uh, view where I can uh, make it uh, like this weird section where you can see something but you uh, but I just like peeled the skin make sure to check out my tutorial only for patrons and for that you need to join my patreon first link in the description but anyway that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day